why would they do this? So, we have all of this information, but the obvious question is, why? Why would they do this? When Rome was still a functioning republic, Roman judges would always ask the question, Qui bono? Or, who benefited from this crime? When we ask ourselves this simple question, we see, A. The arms dealers are selling hundreds of billions of dollars in new weaponry. B. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, and the World Bank have created over one trillion dollars in new loans in the last year alone. C. Ariel Sharon and his group of hardliner political Zionists are jumping for joy because they have been pushing the United States for years to aggressively attack Arab nations. This is a very sensitive issue because there are distinct, opposing, and emotional points of view concerning the Middle East, regardless of which side of the fence you stand on concerning Israel and the Arabs. When Ariel Sharon recently said, I don't care what the American people think. I own the Congress. It should create significant concern for all Americans, especially because he is probably correct. D. The multinational oil corporations have taken control of the rich Caspian oil fields and now have their eyes set on Iraq. E. The Illuminati has always known that the freedom-loving, God-conscious people of the United States were always going to be their biggest problem. With 911, many of our brothers and sisters have become so afraid and so confused that they are willing to turn over their rights for promised security. I realize the immensity of this information, this conspiracy, is hard to accept. Our minds tell us that we are in America, the land of the free and the home of the brave, and this is not the way it is supposed to be. Well, as Dorothy said in The Wizard of Oz, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Take a deep breath and please listen to these following quotes. Today, America would be outraged if UN troops entered Los Angeles to restore order. Tomorrow, they will be grateful. This is especially true if they were told that there was an outside threat from beyond, whether real or promulgated, that threatened our very existence. It is then that all people of the world will plead to deliver them from this evil. The one thing every man fears is the unknown. When presented with this scenario, individual rights will be willingly relinquished for the guarantee of their well-being, granted to them by the world government. Henry Kissinger, Bilderberg Conference, 1991, in Avignon, France. We can't be so fixated on our desire to preserve the rights of ordinary Americans. President Bill Clinton in USA Today on March the 11th, 1993, page 2A. The interest behind the Bush administration, such as the CFR, the Trilateral Commission, founded by Brzezinski for David Rockefeller, and the Bilderberg Group have prepared for and are now moving to implement open world dictatorship within the next five years. Dr. Johannes Koppel, former official of the German Ministry for Defense and advisor to NATO. We are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. David Rockefeller.